We're in Idaho. <laughs> we are in the Idaho. We're here after a very long drive, and uh, it's like 11, 10, what's that? Something. Something um, like that. Morning. And uh, just wrapping up, setting up camp, and then we're we're gonna go check some areas out because we've never been here before. I saw two does to start the day, but uh, pumped to be here. We got two weeks. Let's do it. So we made it to the top where we were last in. Um, so we're just looking into this big bowl. It's pretty thick, so it's a little hard to spot anything. Also, it's pretty hot right now, middle of the day, so I'm not expecting anything to be up and moving. It'll be interesting to see how this hunt goes. Um, I mean, we got literally till the end of the season. We got the entire season here in Idaho that we can stay. So that's two weeks. I'm sitting here glassing in the sun with just a merino base layer on. It's, so it's it's pretty warm you know it's windy but like it's it's warm it's in the 60s and that's weird for hunting season in october um i'm used to like freezing cold jackets and layers some cloud cover might be rolling in here so some deer maybe getting up and switching beds who knows but we're gonna glass for a while and then we might take a nap some naps in the trees because it's so it's just too sunny and hot so everything's probably bedded down and then we'll wait for you know witching hour perfect time and then we'll drop down. Brady spotted about, what, four does? Yeah. Four does. Like, almost 2,000 yards away. I don't know how he spotted them, but he did. You might as well look over there. <laughs> Found more. In a spot that Braden just glassed. <laughs> Obviously missed him. <laughs> Thanks. Yeah. I suck. You two, uh, what do you got there? Hello everyone at home. This is a 760 Pump Master Classic. Or Classic, not Classic. How many pumps you got? Probably like 30 now. Um, I've got... Let me show them. Yeah, yeah, you show them. Got these guys. Wow. Yeah. Wow. Grouse killers. killers. Crow killers. So timber for anyone that's killers. confused, what is this for? And why are you packing that around when deer hunting? To kill a grouse. <laughs> ding 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 ding. <laughs> that is a grouse killer right there. <laughs> I think he, I think you got him. I think you got him. Yeah. Yep. <laughs> Next time I see a grouse, hopefully Brayden will get it on video. <laughs> so we've been glassing all day, took some nice naps. Um, there goes Captain Rick. But we're gonna drop down to this basin. Looks good, look into it. It should be all shaded now because of the sun. And then we're gonna drop down and then follow the tree line back to camp. So we're gonna get to going. It's about three something, almost four. See what we can turn up. Hopefully stuff's moving. It's 
getting dark out here. Um, we only saw does today. We saw crap to the does, like 20, 30 does. Oh, and there's another one. There you go, look at that. Anyways, as I was saying, before I was interrupted by another doe, we did an action, so that's good. I'm almost back to camp. Have a nice big dinner. Oh, I'm so excited. But yeah, that was day one. Been pretty great. o'clock um we jumped that big buck and weren't able to relocate him we bounced around a few ridges of where i thought i he went but i'm hoping he's in this one bowl and i'm gonna sit and watch it tonight but uh we're just on top of this one ridge i'm glassing those hills over there That's some beautiful country um yeah but we'll see we'll see what happens we're gonna spend probably all day up here, do some glassing, walk some more ridges and see what we can churn up. But it looks really good. So, let's see how it goes. This hunt's actually been sort of challenging for me because I, uh, all I'm used to is spot and stalk, you know? So to be coming over here, it's big country, but it's really hard to do spot and stalk because it's actually really thick through here. I like a good challenge, we'll figure it out. We'll pattern the animals hopefully and figure, figure it out, but also, the moon isn't helping at all either. It's a full moon and it's really bright. Interesting hunt, but I'm loving it. How can I complain? And this is the type of scenery I'm in. It's it's crazy. I love it. But let's find uh, let's find Brady as first buck. Pretty slow this evening. Already spotted a doe in two ponds. That got our heart pumping, and then we didn't, didn't see anything else. Saw a bunch of grouse, but other than that one buck that I saw this morning, that's the only buck we've seen so far. Um, I think I'm gonna go try a new spot, a new spot tomorrow. Um, see what we can uh, find down there. It's all new to me, so. Soaking it all in. It's gonna be awesome. Fall colors are sure here. Just all the yellow and red and orange. It's just so beautiful here. 
enjoying every bit of it. Such cool country to be in. But that's about it for uh, day two for us. Day three, how are you feeling? Great. Yeah. I was scared by a grouse, it scared me. Unbelievable. Brady? Another bluebird sky just today. Just not a cloud in the sky. We're gonna go over here, drop across, see what we can find. We got some elk from 2021 and some tortillas and we're making uh, some elk chorizo tacos for lunch with onion or er, olives, tapateo, queso, uh, guacamole, sour cream. Making their mouths water. So yeah, it's pretty rough living out here to be honest with you. There's a reason we didn't stay out all day today. This is why. This is genuinely why. What's going on? What time is it? 4.36. It's 4.36. We just had a very interesting little ride up here. But we got to a very, very high point. or way the heck up here. And uh, some absolutely beautiful terrain. And if I, I, I haven't got, this is the best I've felt about a spot. So it's a good ass spot. But we're gonna hunt this basin that looks really good for the night. See if we can turn up. But if there's any big bucks hiding, it's up here. Yeah. <clears throat> See how it is. Yeah, so here we go. Made it to our glassing spot. It's time to do some glassing. It's the best country I've seen so far. So see what we can find. So, Brady spotted a giant down the hill. He's a long ways away, so we're trying to decide if we're going to make a play on him or not, but we're running out of daylight. Big buck. <laughs> You like that? I like that. <laughs> there he goes. Because he, he stood in the sunlight. Yeah, dude, he's, he's big. Well, he's about to disappear until tomorrow afternoon. Mm -hmm. And he's on the ground with blood next to him. <laughs> and he's gone. We can confirm he is a 4 by 5 with eye guards. Four by five with high guards. Yes, I said that. <laughs> I didn't make a stock on him today because it's like 
how much elevation would you say that is? 600? Oh, dude. We'd have to drop. That's probably 700. Even. 700 feet, and it's steep. And we'd run out of daylight by the time we get down there. So we're just going to... Probably blow them out, too. Hope that we put them to bed tomorrow. And then go shoot them. Well, the day got off to a different start than we were planning than yesterday. We came up from camp to the top. Just hoping to jump something. Probably gonna go to that spot where we found the buck tomorrow morning. So we're gonna still hunt some timber back to camp. But, uh, I don't know, start taking a hard reset today. Putting too much pressure on the hunt, so. Just gotta let it happen. Wait for that buck to step out and just keep being persistent. But, yeah, gotta calm down. Too much pressure. Let's get the hot. Gonna head back to camp. We're gonna take it easy today. And then, starting tomorrow, I'm gonna go hard, balls to the wall, until the end of the trip. I'm going hard. We're gonna get it done. We are at our evening hunt area. We're gonna check out this new spot. Um, sorta done all of our scouting and uh, starting tomorrow, we're gonna start grinding real hard and uh, start hunting real hard. Now that we got a feel for the area and uh, yeah. So we're gonna hike up this spot, see if we can't see anything and uh, see how it goes. So here we go. There's a glass in the hopper today, tonight. Oh yeah, this is money. Brady just shot a buck. I have a got feeling. Yeah. You got blood? Got a lot. Oh, he's only a spike. That's okay though. But one by two. Oh, yeah. Okay, misread, he's a two by one. It's that's okay though, it's my first buck. Oh, he's a big one. Oh. Congratulations. I'm fully heading towards you. Okay, let's go. Oh, okay, I'll see you in a bit. Do you know where I am? Richard shot, I don't know where you are, but I'm sure I'll find you. Okay, I can whistle if you want. Okay, sounds good. Oh my gosh. Why is he moving? I think I hit him in the right spot. I don't think I need to put another one in him. I think that's just muscles. Oh, 
my first buck. <laughs> it's only one by two, but I'm so happy. Oh my goodness. Thanks, I'm still taking the video. So I've been taking a really long video. He's small. Oh my goodness. He's small, but oh man. I can't believe how happy I am. Yes, I could have waited for that four by five, but oh, I'm happy to do that. He's not a spike. <laughs> oh, he is a one by two. Oh my goodness. He's a bloody one. Oh, thank the Lord. Oh, I'm so happy. Thank you, bye. Thank you. Oh, he's fat. He, or I'm just used to seeing does on the side of the road. Man, he is big. Oh. Oh, man. What'd you do there? Killed my first bug. Yeah? How's uh, it feel? Oh, amazing. Um, well, after seeing that four by five, I'm, I'm not disappointed, but I'm glad that someone else is gonna have the chance to kill that other buck, because that is a killer buck. I'm happy about this. It's my first buck, it's not a spike. Um, yeah, he's big. So what, what happened? So I was running over this. I was at the top of those rocks, and I ran all the way down. And then at the top of this, I saw two and I was like, oh, look at that, there's two does. <laughs> and then I was like, oh, what if it's a buck? So I looked at it through my scope and I was like, oh, it's a buck, it's two bucks. Were, so, you, were you just standing up when you shot? No. So I tried to lay down, but I was too shaky. And then they went over the hill. So I ran 50 yards to try to get a better view. And he was standing broadside and I was just, I was probably looking at him for 45 seconds and then he started to move again. He turned around to the other broadside and I uh, meh. He stopped. Boom! I aimed like right here. Because you're zero to 200. Yeah. So. Learn from your mistakes and look what you did. Oh, I know. Unbelievable, dude. Congratulations. My first mule deer. How did the. Oh my god. Oh, I feel so good. Thank you, buddy. So you're addicted, right? Oh, yeah. <laughs> I'm going to get that big one next year. <laughs> yes, you are. <laughs> right on, dude. It was blowing like 30 miles an hour this morning, so we decided to stay in. It's Sunday, so we're having a nice lazy Sunday. We got a bunch of firewood, so we haven't been too lazy. We're going on an afternoon hunt, starting today. We're going hard. Ready to kill something? I'm so ready. Okay. So today is Sunday. Um, the season closes in eight days. And 
and V2 is tagged out and I'm getting tagged. Ooh. I'm getting texts from buddies that they're tagging out and sent me pictures. So it's super exciting. But uh, I'm starting to get fired up. You know, we've seen some good deer. And uh, I'm excited to see if uh, I really want to put a smack down on a big old Idaho mule. So we'll see how it goes. But I'm fired up. At work, I'm going to be glassing tonight. I'm going to be moving around but I'm gonna glass this for a while. I got a doe and I think a second doe as well. She's just behind a tree and it's like a noisy half moon. I definitely got one, possibly two, which isn't the best. I wish it was buck, but... getting dark so uh we're heading back down the trail we're gonna have some deer tacos for dinner and uh just have a good time all together um might jump something on the way down who knows but uh we're on the way Goodbye, everyone. <laughs> I'm going home from a 26-hour bus ride. So I'll see you in 26 hours. Well, probably won't see me again. But <laughs> killed my first deer. Somewhere over there. Right there. Um, yeah. Pretty cool. happy about it. Ever. Next you'll see is probably Brayden killing a buck. See ya. Bye, B2. <laughs> We're on the hike. Up there we go. Got about 800 feet of elevation to gain. Steep one. Made it to the pool that I'm gonna glass. Calm night. The thermals were not working in my favor, but now that I'm up here, it's perfect. But this bowl is great because it's in the shade the entire day and it's far away from any roads. So I would imagine that there'd be some bucks, at least one, sitting in there somewhere. Maybe he'll slip up and slide in there. We can try and get closer and make a shot. It's funny. There's some crows around where I am. And it's weird how they can sound like monkeys. This one crow keeps sounding like a monkey. It's not like 
classic crow. It just sounds like a monkey. It's the only way I can describe it. It's just throwing me off. <laughs> well, think there's monkeys. Bigfoot? Sasquatch? I don't know. Just picked up a doe and two fawns. Feeding across the basin. They appear to be by themselves. Just meandering out. Picked up uh, three more does, two basins over, just feeding across. Good to see deer, I guess. Still no bucks. Oh, spotted four more deer. Man, there are so many fawns this year. It's crazy. It's like almost every doe I see has a fawn with her. Sunset, so I'm gonna slowly make my way back down. This, uh, we're almost at the marker of a week in Idaho. And this hunt is hard, it has a lot of challenges. It's been very challenging for me. But I'm learning so much. But one thing that doesn't get old here. This is just as raw as it gets. It's beautiful. One of a kind.
stars. There's no way. these deer live in is incredible. I don't know how they do it. It's so steep. So rocky. So it's about three o'clock. Uh, we took some cat naps in the shade. It's finally slowly starting to cool down. Uh, I'm gonna drop over here to this little basin right here and look down into all this stuff. I'm gonna slowly make my way down there and then I'm gonna watch that tonight. See what I can see and then slowly still hunt my way down the ridge, um, back to the rig. So, we'll see what we can, <gasps> breath. I'm gonna get my stuff packed up and slowly start heading over there See if we can jump anything. But I've been dreaming about that buck. Man. Oh, so close.
my gosh. <sighs> I just rewatched the footage. I absolutely, I hammered him. I hammered him. <sighs> Let's go. Okay, I gotta go look for blood. I gotta go find him. Gotta, gotta find him first. I hit him good, I know it. I know I hit him good. <sighs> okay, Ooh. I just told my dad that I wouldn't pass on a buck that I would shoot on the last day. And you know, there's a lot of big bucks in this unit and we've seen a lot of hammer bucks, but he walked out. I'm not gonna pass up a buck that the good Lord put on my plate. That's meat in the freezer and it's a buck in Idaho. It's an experience of a lifetime. I'm five miles back in the back country of Idaho and I'm by myself and I just hammered a buck. It's, people might give me for it being not a very big buck, but I don't care because he's special to me, he's a good buck to me, and he's gonna taste real good and can't eat the antlers. God, we worked so hard. This is day seven. Day seven of this hunt. We've worked our ass off. Worked our ass off. For an opportunity like that. And I'm not gonna pass it. I'm not gonna do it. That's an Idaho mule deer. Holy shit. Okay. Okay. Where was he? He was right in here. I got tracks. He's right there! Oh, 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 yes! Oh my god! Oh my god! Oh my god! Yes! Yes! Oh my god! Oh my god! Well, here's my uh, 2022 Idaho high country mule deer. Um, man, I thought high buck was hard. This hunt in certain situation, in certain aspects was easier, but in other aspects was so much more challenging. Um, it's day seven of the hunt up here. It's just been a whole roller coaster of ups and downs just like every single hunt is. And I couldn't be more grateful for this buck right here because this is gonna fill my freezer even more so and feed my family and my friends for the next year. My dad always told me when we were fishing, never to throw back what the good Lord put on your plate. Not shoot, if I see something that I would shoot on the last day, I'm gonna shoot it. If it's you know, the trip, middle of the trip. And um, I couldn't be more happy with this buck. He has a ginormous body. He's gonna provide a lot of food. And the experience is what matters. I'm ecstatic with what happened and what went down here. I couldn't be more happy with this buck. And uh, I'm more than thankful for this buck's life and that I had the opportunity to hunt him. It's just a surreal experience to be here in Idaho get it done. These mule deer are a different breed. It's so crazy. The terrain they live in, how steep it is, it's just crazy. So I'm so blessed that I was able to take this animal. I'm never going to forget this experience with my dad and Brady and my best friend. This is amazing. We got one more tag. Let's see if we can make it happen. I'm stoked. I'm so happy. I'm so happy. So happy. Oh.
looking at him. There's a load. Load of mule deer. <laughs> Woo! Not a problem. Oh, good heavens. <laughs> Not I a problem. I got my hip belt on, hip belt, hip belt. Oh. Yeah. Ooh, holy moly. He's on it. Uh, that. Deer in tow. That's a whole Idaho mule deer right there. Right there. One pack, one load. Four more miles to go. Almost there. Stretch. Uh. Oh, Deer down. Done deal. Made it. <laughs> That's gotta feel good. Good morning slash afternoon everybody. It's the day after I killed my buck. Um, today has been a very, very nice, easy day. But here we are, full success. I am extremely sore after yesterday. Uh, I think I did 12 miles yesterday. Yeah, 12 miles. And four of them are with a 100 plus pound pack. It's pretty gnarly. Here's the single shot. This thing is a grouse killer. It's tomorrow and Friday. We're gonna go hard to try and fill my dad's tag. Um, I really wanna get him a buck really bad. Oh, I really wanna see him shoot something. grouse down baby well I got the first bird of the trip big old blue grouse pretty pretty bird just hammered him in the head oh yeah yeah that did the trick all right wow that's a big bird wow thank you mr. grouse wow big bird big big bird he had two others with him and they just flew away and then I came up here and I knew he was gonna have another one. I knew there had to have been another one with him. So I snuck up with the hammer back and he popped out and boom. That was awesome. I'm just up here uh, at the top. Didn't jump any more grouse. Um, but I'm just glassing for my dad right now. Trying to see if I can catch anything moving. And uh, I got four does below me. They're just feeding. Um, <clears throat> no bucks. Yeah, I'm probably gonna start my hike back down here real soon. Maybe jump some more grouse. But uh, it's finally knock on wood, but it's, it's calming down out here. Um, I, haven't, I haven't seen a person today. It's been awesome. Um, it's real quiet out here, which is awesome. Real quiet. But yeah. I hope my dad jumped something in the brush. That would be cool.
You're high, you're high. Reload. He's moving to the right. Turn the turret knob down five clicks to down. One, two, three, four, five, okay. He's just to the right, he's standing broadside. I lost him. I lost him. He's same hillside, Dad. Okay. okay, he's moving to the left now. He's practically in the same spot, broadside. I freaking lost him. God dang it. He's still there. He's mo he's moving to the left. He's running. Oh, I see him. Matt. 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 He went up and over. Huh? He went up and over. No. Hold on. Hunt's not over. <sighs> well, it's about one something o'clock. Uh, we've been covering some ground. A hey. lot of ground. How you doing? Good. For a nice warm July sunny day. July? Oh, that's right. It, it is July. July. Oh, wait. Is it in July? Wait, wait no. Oh. We're two thirds of the way through October. That's oh. right. I forgot about that. I forgot. Yeah. But um, yeah, we just met two of the coolest guys ever, Justin and Jacob. If you're watching this, you guys are awesome. Um, they gave us a bunch of awesome pointers and just stand-up guys people like those legit they're legit people, legit stand-up dudes people people like those restore your faith in humanity um but they they've been back hunting for a few days and we just talked for probably an hour probably and uh they gave us some pointers they're local and uh we're gonna follow those pointers so we're gonna we're gonna slow hunt some timber try to find pops a nice buck and then probably around three o'clock we're gonna start moving and just slow hunt it. Well, and just like that, we're already packing up camp. Um, I'm just in disbelief of how quickly this trip came and went. Um, we came in here 11 days ago, stepping foot into a unit that I've, we've never even laid eyes on. And uh, not knowing what was over the next ridge led to us, you know, learning the unit, learning the hills and topography and certain pattern the animals. And it was just such an unreal experience here. Um, first out of state hunt for Brady and I. Um, Brady's first big game hunt, let alone his first deer. Um, my dad's first time returning to this unit in 20 years. Um, it was just super special for all of us. And uh, just being able to hunt this place with my dad, and my best friend, and my best friend shooting his first buck and us all getting to share that was just such an awesome experience in such an unreal place. I'm more than blessed that not only did my legs take me over 100 miles in this short 11 days, I was able to to also harvest one of the animals that calls this beautiful yet rugged country home. And uh, it may have been the hardest I've ever worked for an animal, um, but that made the journey to getting him that much sweeter and I just wouldn't have changed a single thing about it. Um, and sharing it with my dad made it that much better. And I couldn't be more thankful for that buck's life and uh, knowing it'll provide for me and my family for the year ahead of us. Um, and the amazement of what conditions and terrain and area that these deer thrive in is just what keeps me coming back for more. It's just incredible. Um, I just know 
that I love mule deer, and there will not be a year that I don't go chase mule deer in the hills. Um, and they just, they're truly just wild animals. They're incredible. Um, I just, I can't wait to hopefully return next year with the company of these same fine gentlemen and uh, get the pleasure to chase the big old high country bucks that got away from us this year. Um, and that inhabit this super special place. And I just, I can't wait. I can't wait for next year. But uh, until then, we got a long drive home and a lot of camp to pack up and more hunting season to hunt and focus on. So uh, it's just, it's truly been one hell of an experience and I'll never forget it. Just, it was incredible.